Hey, what up, world? What up, world? Happy Friday to you. Hey, what up, world? I'm Bouchon Glover, and welcome to Trending Topics Today. Today is Friday, September 6, 2019. Now, I decided to do a show on Friday, you know, for the trending topics just to stay relevant and to keep things moving forward. So the number one trending topic today is, and I didn't even look it up, but when I saw it, I said, wow, you know, I'm going to stay, stay to the plan. The number one trending topic today is Little Nas X. Little Nas X, he dropped his new single, a uh, new hit single. He dropped it uh, yesterday and it's, uh, it's, it's 7.5 million views. So he pretty much got another hit on his hands. And my question is, well, Little Nas X, and if you look at the video, I was kind of apprehensive just a little bit because no disrespect, but he came out as being gay. So with that being said, you know, Old Town Road and it kind of came a little different, you know, for me because now, you know, I'm a ride until I can't no more. It's just hard not to think, are you riding or are you getting road, bro? So, but the new single was called Panini. And I was like, wait a minute, P Panini? You know, I heard of Punani, you know, so it's in, 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 is Punini a cold word for penis? So I did my due diligence and I looked it up and it pretty much came back as being a sandwich. Okay, a sandwich. So when you have a sandwich, you have two slices of bread and then you have something in the middle. OK, so I'm like, OK, I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I, I kind of look things a little deeper than the surface. But in the video, like I said, with hat, which has over seven point five million views dropped yesterday and he has a female in the video and in the entire video, the female is actually running from <laughs> little Nas X, like literally running from him. And I'm like, OK, and he's kind of like chasing her in the video. OK, she gets on a plane. He lands on the on the wing. You know, it's like a futuristic video. And I'm sitting back like, OK, why is she running from me? And I thought like, OK, she's running from me because, nigga, you gay. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, she's running from you, bro. And you didn't catch her. But man, little Nas X. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself, why? If you want to come out the closet, why not just be honest and make videos with, 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 with boys in it and kiss them and do all of that? Because clearly the world is not ready for that. So they want to basically sell an illusion, you know, make it just seem like, you know, he is a pop star because based on the video, you know, he, he's doing his thing. And the song is, is pretty, you know, I actually like the song, you know, but I just thinking in my mind, you know, why, why, why they don't they, they come out the closet, but then they want to act. You know, like they're not what they are. So it's just, you know, I guess that's what you have to do to be successful in the entertainment round. And also what's trending in music is. Um, what's her name? Uh, what's, what's she at? What's she at? What's she at? Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion dropped her video two days ago and it's over 10 million views. And she's trending in the music and entertainment realm as well because she dropped her video. Hot Girl Summer featuring Nicki Minaj and Ty Dolla Signs. And the song is hot. Yeah, I'll be bumping it in the, in the car, you know, and the, my favorite part is when when Ty Dolla Sign says she's a big old freak because she's a, you know, stallion. Think of a stallion, not no regular horse, not no thoroughbred, a stallion, ass way up here. Bow! A stallion. So I did some little research on her. She's standing five, seven, you know, and then she wear these stripper stilettos and she got the stripper, you know, little situation because she 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 was at on the uh, VMAs and pretty much performed in a thong with some stilettos on. So with them stilettos, the seven inches, so it's five, seven. So she's standing six, two, six, three. That's a stallion. That's a big old freak, like Ty Dolla Sign said. And she's one of the trending topics right now. But also, I had a, uh, I dated a stallion before. She was a big old freak too. But you know, there's pros and cons when you're dealing with stallions because some stallions, not all, got big feet. Some stallions, not all, got big hands. So when I was over there at the stallion back in the day and uh, there were some shoes by the door, some high tops. And I sat on the couch and I said, uh, I said, damn, 
how old is your son? She looked at the shoes and said, those are mine. I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> you got a big old foot, <laughs> which is okay. Okay. And also, like I said, some, not all, stallions, females, got big hands. And the dangers of dealing with a female with big hands is make your Johnson appear to be smaller than what it is. Because look, 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 take it. Look at this bottom. Okay. Now, if your stallion got some big hands, that part. Make it look a little bit smaller. <laughs> so that's why them little petite girls grab it. They could put two hands on it and still got a little more to go. Them stallions just blocker, blocker, blocker. <laughs> So, man, I'm trying something new dealing with the trending topics because also what's trending in, in, in sports, Antonio Brown. I'm not going to go in on the brother. I did a post. I put a post on my YouTube page yesterday. Antonio Brown uh, cut by the Raiders for having an altercation with general manager Mike Mayock. So Charlemagne on uh, the Breakfast Club, he has this thing, what he calls donkey of the day. So we're going to call ours jackass of the day. And that award goes to Antonio Brown because Raider Nation, you know, that's a nation. Those fans, I was in the barbershop yesterday and they hot. You know, someone was talking about, man, you know, they don't know them Raider fans. Raider fans will put hands on you. So you got to watch yourself. And also trending in sports, Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott signed this week with the Dallas Cowboys a contract, agreed to terms. $90 million contract extension with the Dallas Cowboys, becoming the highest paid running back in the NFL. Now, Ezekiel Elliott agreed to a six-year, $90 million contract extension, and he will be playing this weekend if football season kicks off. But also, trending in sports, Jared Goff, the Los Angeles Rams quarterback, he agreed to a four-year extension through 2024. The terms really didn't come out, but they're saying that it's worth one hundred and thirty four million dollars with a record one hundred and ten million dollars guaranteed. Wow. And a lot of times there's winners and losers because Dak Prescott eventually for the Dallas Cowboys, you know, he's seeking a new contract, but eventually he's going to have to make a decision. And Dak Prescott is who I'm talking about. Do I want to win or do I want to get paid? OK, because. The price tag that Ezekiel Elliott has won't allow the Dallas Cowboys to offer Dak Prescott Jared Goff's types money. So with that being said, man, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, man. Happy Friday to you. And thank you for tuning in to hashtag what's trending today. Enjoy your weekend. Keep chiming in. I'll get back at you. I'm your boy, Bouchon Glover, signing out. Peace.